mean, you know, WrestleMania matches are hard because there's so much buildup and you put so much expectations on it. It's very rare to have a WrestleMania match that you're really happy with. I've had one, literally one, maybe two. Maybe the latter match uh, where CM Punk won in 07, but the Shawn Michaels match might be the only WrestleMania match I've ever truly been happy with. I wasn't happy with the one I had with Regal. I wasn't happy with the one I had with Ben Juan Angle. I wasn't happy with the Triple H. The Christian one was good. That was okay. I can live with that one. Uh, the ladder match I had, uh, like, you go through all the Edge one I didn't really care for, the Punk one I didn't care for, the Fandango one I didn't care for, and the Owens one. I, it's not that I didn't care for, but, but it's hard because there's so much going on, and the sound from a stadium goes up into the rafters. So you never get that feeling of like real, like the Tokyo Dome. Kenny was one of the only times I worked at Dome Show where you could feel the people and they were into it. You could tell. But other shows, they're not. And maybe outside are even worse because the, the sound just goes into the into the ether. Uh, and, and I think the build-up for the Owens match, I mean, that's one of the best years of my career. That whole 2016, the whole build-up festival of friendship was amazing. Everyone's like, oh, we knew he was going to turn on. You didn't know. Nobody knew. Because we had teased it so many times. And the festival of friendship, I wanted it to go from a, a 1980s David Lee Roth video to Game of Thrones Red Wedding. I wanted that in the 10 minutes to go from this to this, and that's what we had. That's why I came out, how are you? The, the, the hat, which I got from Roth, where he put the hat on, and sparklies and all this shit, and Friendship with the Magician and all that stuff. And then, just when you think it's not gonna happen, it happens, you're like, no, don't do it. The list of KO, hey, how come my name's on this? Look up, dead, right? One of the best segments in, in Raw history, people say. And I had to fight for that. Vince was not there that week. All the stuff that we agreed on was changed, and I had to fight back. I, me and Triple H were not uh, in a good uh, agreement. And I was like, you're wrong. He's like, you're wrong. I was like, it's my segment. It's my show. It's not your show. It's Vince's show, blah, blah, blah. And finally, when it went the way that, that we did it and the way that I envisioned it, he texted me later and said, that was amazing. That's what a great... And I ser Seriously, Game of Thrones, Red Wedding. That's exactly where I got that from. Um... And then the match happens, and I thought it was good, but it seemed a little bit missing. And the problem with us was we were on after Shane and AJ, which was it's funny because the year before was me and AJ, and we were on after the ladder match. We were second both years, and it's like, I wish I was first. Because the AJ match was good, but once again, the people are so into it at first, and the second one is hard, no matter who you are. And so I thought, I thought the match was good, I was very surprised when I saw KO after, and he's like, Vince said it was the worst, one of the worst matches in WrestleMania history. And I was like, what? Because he wanted Kevin to be this type of heel, and Kevin was doing a lot of stuff off the top rope and flashy moves, and Vince did not want that. And I think Vince had a hard on for him at the time, and it would have been very hard for him to impress. Because Vince never said anything to me about the match, ever. Not once. Never said he didn't like it. Never said it was the worst match in WrestleMania history. Never said a word about it. We talked about it the next night and didn't go into detail, but he just went, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he didn't say anything. And I'm not going to go ask him, because that's one thing about Vince. Sometimes he says stuff in the spur of the moment that he'll forget 10 minutes later unless you bring it up again. So, uh, yeah, Ke Kevin was very sad, and Vince told him you need to lose weight, and this is terrible, and you don't know anything. I've been through it. Vince told me you're, you're green as grass. You're not worth the contract the paper that the contract is printed on way back in 1999. So I told him, like, you are now going through the Vince, you know, boot camp. And just stick with it and you'll, you'll do okay. But um, do I think it was a great match? No. Do I think it was the worst match in WrestleMania history? Absolutely not. And there was some great stuff in that they were able to use over the next few weeks, the finger on the ropes and all that. <laughs> but, you know, overall, it was, it was very hard to... to, to put on a match that would live up to the hype of the match. But, you know, it's all about the story of getting there. And the match was cool, but I'd rather have a great story and an okay match than an okay story and a great match.